Right, this is the Proving Triangle similar worksheet from in class on February 13th, Wednesday, February 13th. Okay, so um, one through six, they're asking us the state of the triangles are similar. If they are similar, then we want to state how, um, how we know they're similar and complete the similarity state. So number one, okay, first thing we notice um, is that we have Get the thin line though. Nope. Okay. So we have parallel sides. So EB is parallel to um, LM. So first thing we want to look for in these proofs, um, again, we have three ways to prove triangles are similar. We have angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. Most common one is angle, angle, so let's look for angles first. First thing we want to look for are vertical angles, and we have a pair of vertical angles. And the other thing we want to look for our alternate interior angles, since we have parallel lines, since we have parallel lines, the alternate interior angles are congruent. So this is going to be yes by angle angle similarity. Okay. Say so yes by angle angle similarity. Okay, and then we're going to have triangle. So it's KLM. So what corresponds with K is going to be K. Okay, so KLM, so it's KD, D. Okay, K, D, E. K, D, E. So since um, these lines right here, right, since these lines are parallel, we have two parallel lines. The alternate interior angles of parallel lines are going to be that's how we know angle um, D and angle L are congruent. Okay. Uh, number two. Again, I'm trying to use this uh, the S Epson pen. Um, so bear with my terrible handwriting. And it's not even centered, so I don't know how to center it. All right. So um, here, let's redraw the two triangles. So we have L, U, and V. Then the large one is L, N, and M. Okay, we know the side LN is 154. We know NM is 143. And we know LM is 110. We know UV is 39. And LV is 30. Okay, LU. Right, so if this whole thing's 154 and this piece UN is 112, we do 154 minus 112, and that's going to give us 42. So we know this piece here is 42. Again, uh, we're looking for angle, angle, side, 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 or side, angle, side. Okay, we have three pairs. We have all the side information for all the sides, so let's look for side, side, side. In order to show side, 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 we need to show that the sides are proportional. So the ratios of the corresponding sides all have to be equal. So we're going to have 42 over 154, 39 over 143, and 30 over 110. Okay, if we put those in our calculator, we're going to get 3 out of 11. 3 out of 11 and three out of 11. So the ratios for all the corresponding sides are the same. Our scale factor is three over 11. So we know the triangles are similar by side, side, side. Okay. And then our similarity statement is going to be triangle L, M, N. So L corresponds with L, M corresponds with V, and then the N corresponds with L, V, U. So 
side, 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 all the sides are proportional because our, our ratios of each corresponding side is. Here we found two pairs of congruent angles, right? We found angle D was congruent to angle L, okay, alternate interior angles, and then we had angle EKD was congruent to angle uh, MKL by vertical angles. So two pairs of congruent angles. So that's angle angle similarity. Um, three sides proportional. So the ratios are all equals. That's side, side, side. Okay, number three and four. So okay, I'm going to clear all that. Right here. Um, again, we want to find uh, PF is going to be 15. 18 minus 3 is 15. 12 minus 2 is 10. So EF plus ER is going to be 12. PF plus FQ is going to be 18. So it's 15 and 10. We know they share an angle. They share angle P. So the east small triangle and the large triangle share angle P. So angle P is congruent to angle P. That is reflexive. Ten is to twelve, as fifteen is to eighteen. So that's going to be five over six, and five over six, or point eight three three, and uh, point eight, I believe, three three. Okay, so those are the same. Okay, so we have one angle. One pair of congruent angles, two sides that are proportional. They're proportional because their ratios are equal. So this is yes, side, angle, side. Two, two ratios are equal. So the two sides are proportional. And then one pair of angles in between. So P, Q, R. P is going to um, correspond with P. Q corresponds with F. And R corresponds with E. So this is triangle PFE. Um, all right, next one. Again, first thing you want to look for maybe is vertical angles. So we have vertical angles here. Angle REQ is congruent to angle um, GEF. Okay, REQ, GEF. Okay, our sides, so RE is going to correspond with um, GE because of the two small sides. So we know 5 over 10, and then we have 9 and 18. 5 over 10 is 1 half. 9 over 18 is also 1 half. So we have two ratios that are equal, meaning two sides that are proportional, and one pair of angles that's congruent. So we have yes by side angle. This E corresponds with E, F corresponds with Q, and G corresponds with R. Okay. So yes, side, angle, side, and there's our similarity statement. Okay. Five and six. Five and six. So let's try the triangles again. So here's one, and then we have oops, the large one. Okay, so we have VLK and then VTU. Okay, this is nine. This is six, this is five, um, this is 21. Okay, we need to find the length of VU. So 28 minus nine is gonna give us, well, no, it's 28, it tells us it's 28. It tells us the length here is 15. 
So we have all the information on the sides. So uh, 9 over 28. 6 over 21. And 5 over 15. Okay, this is going to, can't be reduced. Okay, this is going to be um, 2 sevenths. This is a two, and this is one third. So these fractions are not going to be equal. So our conclusion is no, not similar. Okay, the triangles are not similar. Number six, we have vertical angles. Okay, so they're giving us that angle B is congruent to angle T. Okay, and then by vertical angle theorem, we know angle BAC is congruent to angle TAS. So we have two pairs of concurrent angles. So this is yes, angle, angle. Triangle ABC, so B corresponds with T, so it's triangle A, T, and then C is going to correspond with S, so A, B. Yes, angle, angle, A, T, S. Okay, now to the proofs. Okay. So we have steps. And we have reasons. And step one is always the given. So we're given that uh, MN over PQ equals NO over QR. Okay, that's given. Okay, it's also given that angle N is congruent to angle Q. is also good. So um, if we look at this, we have two ratios that are equal. Since we have two ratios that are equal, that represent the corresponding side. So MN is to PQ as NO is to QR. So we have two ratios, so two pairs of, um, or, or two sides that are proportional. Here we have one pair of angles. So this is gonna be side, two sides. And an angle, so we're going to use side, angle, side. Okay. So we have two pairs of sides that are proportional, two sides that are proportional, and um, one pair of angle that's congruent. So side, angle, side says if we have two pairs of sides that are proportional and one pair of angles that are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So triangle MNO is similar to triangle PQR. Okay. Next one, given that angle A and D are right angles, so Step one here is angle A and angle B are right angles. That is given. Okay. Um, we know all right angles are congruent. So not only are they right angles, but they are congruent by the right angle theorem. The right angle theorem, which says all right angles are congruent. Since they're both right angles, they are congruent by the right angle theorem. Okay. The other thing again, we want to look for are vertical angles. So here's our vertical angles. That's angle ACB is congruent to angle BCE. Okay. And those are vertical angles. So that is our vertical angle, your vertical angles are congruent. Okay, well now we have two pairs of angles that are congruent. 
Once we have two pairs of angles that are congruent, we can say that triangles are similar by angle angle. So ABC is similar to triangle DEC. Because angle angle similarity says if we have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent, and we have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. Here's one. Here's the second. Then we know that they are similar by angle angle similarity. Angle angle similarity. Um, well, or you can pause it if you need to. I'll go back. Nine and ten. So number nine, we're given that. So we have steps, reasons. So MQ is parallel to OP. given okay the first thing you want to look for is vertical angles and we have vertical angles so um, angle mnq is congruent to angle uh, pno and that is the vertical angle theorem. Vertical angles are congruent. Okay, they're vertical angles, and by vertical angle theorem, we know all vertical angles are congruent. I don't know if anyone thinks this pen is better than the markers. Okay. Step three, other than it saves money because it saves the ink. Um, we have Parallel lines here, right? So we have PQ and MQ are parallel lines. Okay, what do we know about alternate interior angles? We know alternate interior angles are congruent if the lines are parallel. So we have the parallel lines. So since the lines are parallel, MQ and OP, we know the alternate interior angles are congruent. So we know angle M is gonna be congruent to angle P. Angle M to angle and that is the alternate interior angle theorem. Okay. Four. Okay, what do we have now? We have two pairs of congruent angles. Here's one, here's two. So we can use the angle-angle similarity theorem. Okay, angle-angle similarity to show that the triangles are similar. Because if we have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent, and we do, then we know the triangles are similar. So triangle MQM is similar to triangle OPM. Okay. Okay. Um, steps given. For steps and reasons. Okay. okay, here we have given a GK is parallel to HJ. Okay. We know these triangles share an angle, angle I, so angle I is congruent to angle I. That is the reflexive property of congruence. Okay, things are equal to themselves or they're congruent to themselves. Okay, step three, again, we have to want to use our given, which is parallel lines. Okay. We have parallel lines. Okay, so parallel lines. Transversal, what do we know about corresponding angles? We know corresponding angles are 
congruent. If the lines are parallel, the lines are parallel, so our corresponding angles are congruent. So angle G is congruent to angle um, IHJ. Right? And we can't call this angle H because if you say angle H, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about this angle or this one down here? Are you talking about the whole thing? Um, we don't know. So you have to name it angle IHJ to the angle set. Okay, and then that was um, corresponding angle theorem. So CAT, corresponding angle theorem, which says that if the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are Step four. Okay, we now have, here's one pair of course of angles that are congruent. Here's a second pair. Okay, so we can use angle angle similarity. Angle angle similarity to show that triangle GIK is similar to triangle HIJ. Okay. Prove this is what we're trying to prove. This should be our last step. Okay, HIJ. And that's it for the um, proving triangle similar worksheet. Hey, okay, only 21.